What's up, my friends? Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Here we are with Aridin, the rest of the crew, Shale, Zevron, Alistair, Brucey. We're going to head over to the Diamond Quarter. We're in the Commons. Yeah, we're in the Commons. Before we do that, let's turn this Nug Wrangler's quest in and then head on over. Go on. I'm out of the Nug game. Got nothing to sell. Come on, man. I got some Nugs for you. Saraka, I'm back in the game. Such as it is. I don't have much besides gratitude, but find a bunch more of these and I'll toss you whatever I found. Did we actually complete it? More. You brought a nug too. Don't forget to wash your hands. Sure. Is there any more nug? No, it doesn't look like there's any more nugs. Cool. I guess we did it all. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But the, you're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out. I trust Vala, my nug. I trust Vala, my nug. Did we get them all? I don't know. I think we did. I would say we probably did. Maybe. I could have swore there was a nug over here. I don't hear anymore. Unless there's a nug. Let me just go check over there real quick before we head out of here. Excuse me, dwarven friends. Unless there's a nug all the way down here. Which I don't think so there is. Here is a question for the painted elf. Painted elf? Oh, that's me. Oh, I do like that. Am I to understand correctly that the painted elf is a crow? Not literally, but yes, I am a crow. As in a bird. Is there another sword? So the painted elf assaults helpless statuary with its feces. If given sufficient cause, why not? That is outrageous. The painted elf will stay away from me, or else. I get a lot of that. <laughs> oh my god, Shale. It wasn't to be taken literally, but you know. Zevron talking about, or Shale talking about fucking Zevron shitting on statues. And Zevron's like, sure. Why not? Good grief, friends. I believe there's something back here. Yeah, buddy. Key to the city stuff. Cool, we almost actually got all of them already. What's up, dude? A dull helmet. You, you have come at surface, a difficult time. The higher class you are. Is ailing for Unless you're actually the on the surface. Sure. Seems about right, Alistair. Kinda. News of the hour. Sorry, can't talk. A cry is worth. Let me see what's up with this dace person. This is dragged on too long. It's an insult to Sure is. I'm telling you, inconceivable. I hope you'll support Lord Harrowmont. Let's get started. Shield of House Iduken. News of the hour. Lord Harrowmont entrenched in the past. How long is more than Orzum changed to survive? Sure. Last city of the dwarves. Just think. In another century or so, the only dwarves left may be on the surface. I'm kind of at a loss on where the hell to go. Can't remember. So you got the steward. The leadership of Orzammar is in chaos addressing the assembly seems like a likely place to start. The chamber of the assembly is in the diamond quarter. Where the hell's the chamber? See, this is... That's a chamber of the assembly. I could have. Oh, this is the uh, shaper. All right. Well, let's just go here, I guess. The assembly is in session. Enter. The assembly is in session. Be easy Enter enough. quietly if you wish to observe. Sure. Let's just go on that. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the surface trade. 
The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Deshers, lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalore, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough! The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Bunch of dusters. Stone forsaken fools and dusters. I'm sorry. This is the assembly of the clans. Only dashers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. Um. I'm a Grey Warden. Don't you recognize me by this amazing armor I got on, pal? Forgive me. I am so exhausted. I completely forgot about the message from the gate guard. Welcome to Orzama, Warden. I hope you can forgive our unrest. The loss of our king has hit us hard. Respect for your role is great, but you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. I mean, a blight is freaking common, man. Though, I guess I can understand the dwarves freaking case here. I'm not caring too much about a blight. Not saying they don't care, but they fight the dark spawn all the time down here, man. You know, like literally the dark spawn are never not on the dwarves uh, doorstep. Blight or no blight, they're well, not saying the roads are pretty much empty during a blight, but at least they're getting a little bit of a break. But I can see why they kind of just are in reserve about the helping with the blight because humans don't come down here and help them when the blight's done and their dark spawn are still ravaging their damn lands, you know. So I guess I can understand. But nonetheless, a blight is coming. Troubling, but it will still seem distant compared to the empty throne. The assembly is blind to all else. Does the city not care the world is about to end? This is their world, and it ended when Endrin died. I mean, who has the authority to aid me? Doolin for Endern, Harriman's man, can be found at the Harriman estate. Varteg Gavorn, Prince Balin's second, is often here in the assembly. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Well, thanks, pal. Either way, I appreciate it. Let's just talk to, since this guy is here, let's let's hear him out. See what he's got to say, and I believe we can still talk to Harriman's guys, too. Warden, welcome. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. I am Vartag Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? I need aid against a blight. Yes, the treaty. I've seen it in the Shaper's libraries. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king. And we are sadly lacking one of those right now. You know, battling the Blight is way more important than politics. No one wishes this fight over more than Balin. But while it rages, Orzammar can spare no one to combat what may or may not be a new Blight. Are you implying that the Grey Wardens wouldn't recognize a damn Blight? I believe you. But what are we to do? If Balin followed his heart and sent his men to aid you, Haramont would steal his throne. We would defeat the Blight, and return to find our homeland devastated by an incompetent tyrant. And if you don't fight, your homeland gets destroyed anyway after they destroy the surface. Perhaps you could prove to Prince Balin your intentions are just. If you show you owe Haramont no fealty, I'm sure Balin would help you. Haramont has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramont's deception, 
I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. <laughs> this guy's got freaking black eyes. Freaky, isn't it? I can't tell if this is the graphics or what. But this guy's eyes are black as sin. What kind of evidence? Haramond promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Haramond can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramond gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Where did you even get these notes anyway? That's not important. If they ask, say you found them while searching the Shaper's libraries for your tree. Okay, sure, I guess I'll lie for you. Sounds shady, man. I think either way, we work with this guy or the other guy, it's going to be damn shady, probably. Why don't you just report him, then? Normally, the Shapers would handle this sort of accusation. They are the scholars who manage our laws, histories, and genealogies. They are the final arbiters of all disputes in Orzammar. Unfortunately, the Shaper of Memories is the most important among them. And his grandfather was Lord Haramont's aunt's first cousin. Obviously, we cannot expect him to offer an unbiased opinion. Sure. He'd hold a distant relative over his duty? I guess I can't expect you surfacers to understand the importance of family in Orzammar. The Shaper is biased, and if you want Prince Balin's help, you'll have to show where your loyalties lie. Will you do it? Um... I mean, we kind of need help for the Blight, yeah. This does sound shady. I'm sure if we take this stuff, say we're going to do... Go to Lady Tace and Lord Helmy. If it is shady, we can use it as an angle against them. Maybe. But at this point, Aridan just wants allies, man, no matter who. Like, the way he's picturing this, the way he would picture it, he would want the strongest one. Who was going to be the stronger to fight the Blight. To be his ally. So, this doesn't seem very strong at all. Going behind people's backs and... They want to sneak in and I just, it just doesn't seem like it would be strong, but if anything, we need to at least take it and then go hear the other side out and see if that one's just as shady or as weak as this. And then we'll have to make a decision somehow. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but let's just at least take it and see what we can do. Lady Days doesn't leave the quarter much, but Lord Helmy's adventurous likes to spend his time at Tapsters in the Commons. Remember... Don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. Sure, pal. Promissory note to Lord Helmy added, note to Lady Dace added. Where can I find that shit? Probably in missions. These promissory notes prove that Haramont gave the land to both House Dace and House Helmy. Well, all right then, let's go on outside, shall we? See you later, pal. Have a good one, Vartag. Here we go. Doolin. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Forender, second to Lord Haramont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. I have a treaty that obliges Orzammar to aid during the Blight. That may be, and that is a terrible risk for the surface. But even if the world would end tomorrow, Lord Haramont cannot ignore Balin today. He cannot afford to trust anyone of unproven loyalties. I kind of want them to stop playing games. You know, this treaty does compel you guys to help. You're asking the king of Orzammar to send armies to the surface, but Orzammar has no king and we have no army. Right now, the men who should be fighting Darkspawn are brawling in the street. If this situation is not resolved, we face civil war. If you want Lord Haramont's time now, you'll have to prove you have no intention of turning against him later. 
So we should make the whole world wait then? If you wish to show you have no loyalty to Balin, then work against him in Harrowmont's name. Balin is hosting a proving today, supposedly to honor his father's memory. The Deshers take it very seriously. And unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harrowmont's best fighters into stepping down. Why would your assembly even care who wins this tournament? The Proving is a contest of the best warriors in Orzammar. By fighting, they show who has the ancestors' favor. If you were to enter the Proving as Lord Harrowmont's champion, it would prove your loyalty beyond a doubt. <laughs> and this is to be your king. One who cannot keep his own men from running like frightened children. Lord Harrowmont does not use threats or intimidation to motivate his men. He leads by example. Ah. I see. So, it's his example they follow as they cower from this Prince Balin. How dare you slander Lord Harrowmont? Why should we ally ourselves with someone too scared even to grant us an audience? I mean, hey, Zevron does speak the truth here. So if Harrowmont's men are even afraid to even enter this proven against Balin's men, that just shows you what type of men are aligning with Harrowmont. We already know from out there in the beginning that Balin's men, Balin's man pretty much destroyed Harrowmont's man. Like one shot his ass right then and there. So Balin's stuff seems a bit shady to probably pin some shit on Harrowmont that probably isn't even true. But right now, Balin's side sounds a bit more stronger than Harrowmont's side, does it not? And we got Zevron over here kind of speaking the damn truth. If these guys are going to run and not fight Balin's men, what do you think they're going to do with the Darkspawn? And you think if we help Balin or help Harrowmont win, that you think Balin's men still won't try to kill Harrowmont's men? And it could be even worse. So we might just be better off working for Balin. Well, I definitely see what you mean, Zev. Were I you, I would seek a stronger king than this Harrowmont. Surely you don't mean Balin. I mean, Zevron's right, man. Then you and I have nothing more to say. Well, have a good one then, pal. See ya, you and your weak king. It's just how it is. I feel like Harrowmont's, the way that that guy even said that, and the way Zevron said what he said, I think Harrowmont might be a little bit more weaker than Balin. So we are going to stick with our guns here and just work for Balin, I guess. Let's go into the shaper. See if there's anything good in here. Thief! Who would dare take from the memories? How could they? Damn thief! Thief! Gordon, I'm outraged. A thief in the shaper. What have we been reduced to? Thievery? That's what we've been reduced to? How could he? Inconceivable. Did you get a good look at him? I did. He was bald with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Cool. Well, I'll go bust his ass and give you the tome back, pal. Sound good? Perhaps you should stand over there instead. You got a problem with my stench? Perhaps you should stand over there instead. How about I stand right here in your freaking face, pal? I'm quite busy. Please do not disturb me. Have a good one. Freaking schmuck. Excuse me, I can't chat. You. Oh, um, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I, um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. Sounds important. Looking to hire help? Not exactly, but I'm looking for any birth records from the old Orton Taig. It fell in the last blight, and my mother's family claims to be related. If I'm an Orton, it means I'm noble. I'd have my own house, a seat in the assembly. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. You know, I'm a Grey Warden. I'm not really afraid of the deep roads, if we can get into the damn deep roads. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Taig, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrowmont have both been sending out small teams these days. 
Yes, if you can find the Tig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could, maybe now that you're looking, it's almost too much to hope. Lost to the memories. Sure, we'll help you. Legion of Steel, friends. That sounds interesting. Shh. I'm doing very important work. All right, we'll take it over there. These people are so mean in here. What I ever do to them? I hope you find what you're looking for. Well, that's a nice lady. Hey, pal. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the Shaper of Memories. How do you know who I am? The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. Cool. Well, we're all famous in Orzammar now, friends. I am not going to give him these papers because that might go over badly and then we'll have to end up working with Heramont. How about we uh, talk about Orzammar? Ask, and I shall do my best to answer. What's the difference between an ancestor and a paragon? All dwarves who die return to the stone as ancestors, to guide their families forever. But only one every few generations rises to Paragon. A Paragon is a dwarf whose accomplishments change Orzammar so much that the assembly recognizes they've been born blessed. They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever bearing their name. Are there any Paragons in Orzammar now? There is one Paragon of this generation, a woman named Branca. She was born a smith. But her inventions caught the assembly's eye. Before she had seen 20 years, she created a smokeless coal. It could burn in a cave without vents and no one would choke from it. It earned her paragon status. A smokeless coal. How crazy cool would that be, huh? So where is this Bronca now? She went into the deep roads two years ago seeking out secrets of the ancient smiths. She never returned. Dead and done. Tell me about Orzammar's history. We were a great empire once, outnumbering even humans and elves. We traded with your Tevinter Imperium, and our land stretched as far in the deep roads as theirs did above. Cal Shirok was capital then, but we lost too many battles. We lost our golems, and we lost our territory. Now the empire is simply ruined tunnels filled with darkspawn. How did you lose your golems? The Paragon Keridan. A smith of unsurpassed genius invented the golems. For years they were our weapon against the darkspawn. One golem is worth a dozen dwarves in battle. But Keridan's tig is far into the deep roads. When it fell, we lost his secret to creating golems. There are books about it along these walls if you would read more. You mean golems like this? Yes. We have only a few dozen left in Orzammar and I do not recognize this one. Where did you find it? Every golem is precious to us. We'd pay a good sum for a new find. I'd sooner jump into a pit of lava. Unfortunate. Was there anything else? I must tell the rest of the Shaperit about this discovery. <laughs> Shale is so funny, man. Uh, so where is Cal Shirok? At the other side of the old empire. During the last blight, the kings of Orzammar knew they couldn't hold everything. They sealed the deep roads abandoning everyone still trapped in far-flung settlements. It was the only way to survive. Cal Shirok is the only other city to outlast the Blight. We only rediscovered them recently, and they still haven't forgiven us. Um, let's talk about basic Orzammar again. I will settle your mind if I can, Warden. Please, speak your mind. Oh, uh, I guess that's all. All right, take it easy. Have a good one. Your presence here has been recorded in the memories. I wish I knew what significance it has. You'll find out soon enough, big girl. You sure will. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these and get the hell out of here. And I guess start looking for Balin's uh, supporters, people, giving them the papers and whatnot. Lots of stuff to read. Where? 
definitely falling behind on codexes here. We'll get to it, man. We'll, we'll get to it one of these days. Don't you worry. I think. Hey, Zev. Open this chest for me, pal. Thank you. Alright, let's dip into the journal. We need to find Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. I believe he said one of them were as a tapsters. Yeah, and I remember Lady Dace on the side of... Uh, she was out there somewhere. Make sure there's nothing else. No? Yeah, she was out there somewhere. That was vaguely close to where we're at. Like she was over here by the choir guy. It's crazy though, man. Like, it's, it's just... Like, I want to help Haramon. He seemed like he's... I know the story, man. We all probably know the story, yeah. Haramon just the seems... Palace, then. Mm, what treasures could lie within? Don't you worry, pal. We're gonna go rob him blind soon enough. Lord Haramont said to have kicked Castless in the street. Does he respect none beneath his station? I don't know. I just don't like the whole thing how Haramont's men are running away from Balin's men. Fight for your king. You want him to be king? Fight for him. You know? Like, this is crazy to me. It's it's just shows how weak his side must be for them not to actually fight for him. What do you want? Ah, oh, I suppose you're the Grey Warden everyone's talking about. Yeah, buddy. I am Aridan. Are you, uh, Lady Dace? I am. And what business would you have with me? How about a tumble in a nook over there, huh? I hear you'll be voting on the next king. Now, is that an attempt to cozen me into revealing my choice, or are you simply making small talk? It's so hard to tell with you surface types. You're all so charmingly direct and artless. I noticed you didn't answer my question. Yes, I am a member of the Assembly, a Desher. I will be one of 80 nobles of purest blood to pick our sovereign king. If you're asking me where my vote lies, I'm forbidden to tell until the stones are cast. Well, you may want to look at these damn papers. Well, this isn't exactly a surface broadsheet. Where did you get these? Never mind. It is true enough, but there's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. Um... Well, will you tell him? I cannot. Not for weeks. He is leading a Deep Roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient taig. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The Dace family would be in your debt. How would I even know where to find your father? He was searching an old Iduken site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. Does that mean you'll go? Yeah, I mean, I'll leave right now. Yeah, sure. So Balin's victory means enough for you to risk your life. How interesting. We just need some damn aid, woman. I tell you what, though, friends, at some point or another, I want to get into this proven. It'll be two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Bronca didn't go alone, Ogren. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Look, Argrin don't even have a weapon. He can't even carry a weapon here. Poor fella. Can you believe it? 
Ogren's barely even warrior cast anymore, and he just clomps in here like he's entitled. Who the hell's Ogren? Ogren's a drunken wretch. He comes up here two, three times a week, hounding people to lead some suicidal rescue mission after Bronca. Gets quite violent about it. I'd be scared if they hadn't practically gelded him after he killed young Lord Mino. What do you mean, gelded him? Well, he killed Lord Mino's youngest son in a duel to first blood. It was a huge scandal. Ogren should have been executed, but he'd won honors in the Deep Roads. Instead, they stripped him of all weapons and forbid him from engaging in fights within city limits. If he breaks the decree, he'll be exiled. That's somebody I want on our side, huh, friends? At least somebody that will damn fight. Why does this Ogren care so much about Bronca? <sighs> She's still his wife, isn't she? Even if she took their entire house into the deep roads and abandoned him. So, Bronca's married to Ogren. Such an interesting couple, huh? A paragon married to a drunken wretch. I mean, you have to be... Let me just say... You know how Orzammar is. Very honorable, very, uh... Loving, loving battle, this, that, and the other. Like they, like, pride themselves on that. For them to take away Algren's fucking weapon in Orzammar, then he must be just a nasty fucking warrior. And they're scared of him. So that's pretty cool. Bronco was married to that drunk, huh? Well, before she was a paragon, she was just a smith, and Algren was one of the best warriors of his generation. Why did this Bronco go into the damn deep roads? Chasing some old treasure. She was quite secretive. Outright rude, really. She said she never asked to found a house, that she didn't care about politics, and that we were too self-absorbed to defeat the Darkspawn. She actually threatened anyone who said they'd come after her. How did she become a paragon? She invented a smokeless fuel that let the Smith cast increase their output by nearly a third. Deaths from the Black Lung also dropped. The Assembly said she had the favor of the ancestors and declared her a paragon. They moved Bronca, Ogren, and all their relatives to the noble caste and founded a new house in her name. So what were you and Ogren arguing about then? It's been two years since Bronca left. No one has ever stayed in the deep roads that long and survived. The search teams who went out found nothing but... Ogren wants to keep risking lives searching. Can you blame him? It's his goddamn wife. Um, well, I'm gonna get out of here before you start complaining about me, too. If you see any guardsmen, tell them Ogren was at it again. Excuse me, guards, but Ogren is at it again. He's causing a ruckus. Well, let's go to Tapsters, then. Talk to what's his face. So I've been hearing rumors that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I, I can't imagine what you mean. I, I pay my expenses. What about the expenses your good friend Jarvia incurs when providing your protection? It's not easy ensuring nothing bad happens. That no one decides to just. Burn everything in your store. My store! Please, I don't have much. Business isn't good. People are scared. T tell Jarvi I'll get her money. I. Jarvi is not happy with your promises, old man. Now let's go inside and see what you've been holding back. Shall we just let him get ransacked over? No. Let's go inside. Th this is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? Is there a problem here, friend? Are these men threatening you? Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carter's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. 
or I can't say what might happen. Take a good look. Do you really want to start this? Whoa, whoa. All right, you win. I'm not going to die for 10 lousy sovereigns. All right. <laughs> Easy peasy. Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. Well, what do you know about this Jarvia? I, I've never met her, of course. They say she never leaves Dust Town. That's uh, the older area of the city where the castless congregate. She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down for coin. What do you know about her carter, then? A band of castless thugs. They're to blame for all the crime in Orzammar these days. They're criminals, and the children of criminals. The ancestors themselves declared them irredeemable. They're children as well? That's a bit far, huh? Their births are abominations. They were born from no Kalna, with no acknowledgement by the Shapers. They are destined to be criminals. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm grateful for your help, but I don't think we have any more to talk about. Give me your goddamn wares, pal. Did you have something more pleasant you wish to discuss? Let me see what you have for sale. I'm sure. Let's buy some health poultices, friends. We're gonna need them. We're most definitely gonna need them for the Deep Rose Trek, because I'm pretty sure I'm not bringing any healers or rogues on that. It's gonna be a warrior party, friends. Greater health poultice. Cool. All right, dude. See you later. Have a good one. Take care, buddy. We need to go to Tapsters, man. What's up there? Nothing. Let's go to old Tapsters. Talk to what's his face in there, and then we'll just call it an episode, and then we come back. I don't know. I want to try to, like, like I was saying before Algren's situation cut in, I want to try to get into the Proven somehow. Let's see what she's got going on. Did you need something else, Warden? Let me have a drink. With 52 types of ale, 17 types of mead, and a dozen imported wines, we should be able to serve your needs. <laughs> what do you have? Cool, let me get some uh, mead. I have an award-winning honey mead. Surface family ships it down here every month. Only one and a half silvers a mug. Cool. Sold. One honey mead coming right up. Vartag Gavorn certainly owes Prince Balin. From a minor house to a prince's right-hand man. He'd do anything Balin asked him. Well, I have other customers to see too. If you need anything else, just call me over. Ooh, she gives us juicy gossip. All right, well, let's talk to people. Let's talk to Nevin. Afternoon, stranger. You looking for a stool to share a brew? Hell yeah. Don't mind if I do. I recommend the Lycan Ale. They brew it downstairs. Name's Naveen. I fight with Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Yourself? Um, I'm a great warden. Figured as much. Good folks, wardens. I was in the deep roads when that one came by. What was his name? Dukan, Dunka, uh, something like that. You knew Duncan? I met him, sure. Good man. Solid. He knows what we go through in the deep roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. Um, you work for Balin? I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. Who's your unit fighting? Darkspawn. Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. True. I honestly never been into deep roads. Not yet, anyways. Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow, and we're not the only ones. Who's sending you out? Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tags. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Who else is in the Deep Roads? Lord Harrowmont's got his own men there, all looking for signs of Bronca. Guess the city's getting to miss having a paragon. 
Everyone wants someone to put in charge. Well, what are you looking for? Valen ordered us in at first bell. We already asked him. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Well, thanks for the drink, but I should go. Watch yourself. Orzammar politics are getting near as dangerous as battle. Cool, man. Thank you. Have a good one. Take care. We got an adventure over here. No, Lord Helmy. Let's talk to Helmy. Where the provings are. Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? Um. Most humans kind of treat my people like castes, to be honest. But there are those like you who see this with concern, no? Well, I've taken the time to actually talk to the other castes. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashes if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Orzammar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. How does the caste system even work, then? Badly. Oh, you're serious? Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. Such interesting lore, man. I think the dwarves lore is so freaking interesting, I won't even lie. So, I'm guessing you get to vote on the next king? Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. Who are you going to vote for? I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that. And subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Um, I have news about Harrimont is double dealing you and Lady Dace. Oh, well, I'd ask for proof. Or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it, I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. And we'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. Why vote for Harriman, then, if you didn't want the land? I actually thought he was the better candidate. You must think I'm pretty sorry naive, huh? They're all the same, well-dressed, blood-sucking cave ticks. I'll have to inform Mother that Lord Harrowmont hasn't bought our vote after all. Well, there's one off the list, at least. Let's go talk to Algren, huh? What do you want? Hey, I heard about you, Grey Warden, coming from the surface. Great crisis in the world. Someone saw you talking to Vartag Gavorn, and now it's all over that you've been doing dirty errands for Balin. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Bronca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. Who's to say I can't? All the rest of whom? Power hungry deep lords. The only real concern they have is whose ass gets the throne. You don't have to play dumb, Warden. Their lackeys only come to me when they want something. Well, if you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. Is that who Bronca is? She's the paragon? City's only living paragon, and she's been lost in the deep roads for two years. Two years, and no one's raised a bleeding army to go look for her. Why do you care, huh? You looking to uncover all her secrets? Is that what Balin wants? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He wants it for himself, right? 
a little blessing from the ancient's technology, and he's assured the throne. Is that it? What if I generally want to help you, man? Too little, too late. But it's a nice gesture, Warden. If you think your boutism will get you an in I don't have, you're welcome to try this. <laughs> I know both Harrimont and Balin have been asking about her. Two years without a peep, and suddenly now they want to start looking. If you find out what they know, it might just put me a step closer to finding her. Or sit here and have a drink. It's all the bleeding same to me. Barkeep! All the bleeding same to me, friends. Sod off, Duster. Sod off, Duster. All right, my friends, I'm heading out of here. Um, when we come back, we're going to keep going on this main quest here. We're going to go over to, I guess, the Deep Roads. I think it's the other side where we met that commander. We're going to go in there to the Deep Roads, see if we can convince... What's the guy's name? See if we can convince Lord Dace about heading over to Balin's side. Anyways, take it easy. Have a good one. Until next time, stay safe out there.